So my name is Jim Coker. I'm the developer of a modular sequencer for Mac OS X called Numerology. And for the last couple of years, I've been working on a, essentially a hardware uh, reorganization of that. Uh, this is it here. This is the prototype. It's called the Vector Sequencer. And it has eight parts in it. Each part can be 16, 32, or 64 steps. Uh, all the parts are monophonic right now. We have two sets of analog outputs, each with pitch, gate, and velocity. Two here, we have two onboard MIDI outputs. Uh, there will eventually be an expansion module with four more sets of analog outputs, four pitches, four gates, four velocities. Uh, Full-size MIDI on DIN jacks and DIN sync. Um, we have sync in and out on triggers, but you can also, all, all the assignments are freely, sorry, all the outputs are freely assignable. So right now, I'm actually using this to trigger bass drum and this for hats. Um, we also have MIDI going to the blow fell for some pad sounds. For each part, you edit the pitches with these lovely OLED displays. You see the actual note number. You can set a scale. In this case, we have a global scale C minor. So you only see the notes that are in the scale. Um, set the gate time for each part. Velocity, step link, ratchet, or subdivide. There is a new chance mode. This is new since NAM. You can set uh, one of about 50 operations. There's a few right there. This one right now is set to jump backward to some random step. You set the amount, the probability that it will do so from zero up to 100%. And then you can also set a bar, so all even bars, odd bars, third bar, fourth bar, eighth bar. So it's a very easy way to set up fills uh, in an ad hoc fashion. Uh, we now have two subsequencers, which are simpler eight step only sequencers. You can set them modulate parameters on the main sequencer. Uh, eventually you'll also be able to send them directly via CV out. So you could have say, your main sequence is 16 steps, comes out the pitch output, triggers out the gate, but your velocity uh, output is used for a subsequence running in three or five or seven. Um, sequence controls, start step, and the length. So this is the length of the pattern playing. Uh, all the sequences have room right now for 16 steps, eventually 32 and 64. And you can change the start step, so you can basically window through the sequence. Directions, forward, backward, alternating modes, and random. Hard sync is a way to force the pattern to reset every so often, every number of beats. Rate control, so we have standard music divisions, but we also now have a percentage control, which is percent of a beat, and a speed control, and these allow you to very easily set up sequences running at, at rates that are not any familiar musical division. Octave, transposition here. We have eight parts. You can set up the names for each part uh, in the preferences, tempo, global key, and scale. You can also override the scale in the individual parts in addition to all the common scales, things like church modes, harmonic minor, pentatonic, and so forth. You can also set dominant, major, and minor seventh chords. So you can set it up so you can very easily have a chord going, very quickly, almost randomly set up a pattern, a sequence, uh, but your pitches are fixed to that chord. Let's start with the drums. So I have the bass drum is fixed on part number three. And uh, we're just using the gates, triggering the bass drum module over here. We have hats on part four. And add a little bit of variation. So steps five and six are muted like that but there's a chance operation to either jump or in this case unmute chance operations to divide everything except for that one is set for every fourth bar so that's basically an automatic fill from the hats um, on MIDI we have the blow fell and that is on part five and this is a slower sequence that is 16 steps and the gate times are a lot of them are tied. So just kind of the slow undulating pad thing. 
And then the main sequence is on part one. And this is just a, mostly a very traditional eight step uh, arpeggiated sequence in 16th notes. Uh, there is a chance operation to jump back again on only the fourth bars, jump back randomly within the first four steps. So again, to add a little bit of randomization on a regular basis. Um, there's an SD card in the back where you can save your projects. There is a preset system now. So you get uh, 20 presets per bank for a 16 step sequence. Two banks can be held in memory and that's for every part. Um, there, I'm working on a scene system that allow you to select to see all the presets that are active for all the parts at once and then build up new scenes by selecting those presets, setting up part mutes, and then being able to trigger them all at once. Um, there's an SD card in the back for storing your stuff. Uh, you can set this to run in disk slash controller mode, in which case you can plug USB into your computer or laptop and it will mount that disk onto the laptop. You don't need an adapter, you don't have to worry about losing a micro SD card, so forth and so on. Um, this is still the revision one prototype. There's a revision two that uh, I have at home. It has a USB-A jack, so you can plug in a really cheap MIDI keyboard with a USB on it. You can use that to program sequences, transpose sequences, trigger things, and, and maybe even a launch pad at some point. So I have a little mailing list where I send uh, announcements out as I you know, get closer and closer to the final delivery date. And uh, people that are on that list will get first dibs on the pre-order.